Direct infringement of Part 4 subject matter is a much more restricted concept than infringement of Part 3 works. This is because the exclusive right granted for Part 4 subject matter in sound recordings and films is the right to make a copy, not the right of reproduction. In practice, this means that only actual copies in the same form will infringe copyright. In CBS Records Australia and Telmac Teleproducts, the court held that copyright in a sound recording only protects the actual embodiment of the very sounds on the original record. This means that it will be an infringement of the sound recording to copy the recording by, for example, burning a CD. It will not be an infringement of this right to make a sound-alike version of a song, though that may infringe the underlying musical and literary works. A similar principle applies to the copying right with respect to films. The copying must be an actual copy of the embodiment of the film. For sound recordings, it will also be an infringement to cause the recording to be heard in public, to communicate the recording to the public, and to enter into commercial rental arrangements with respect to the sound recording. For cinemagraphic films, in addition to making a copy, it will also be an infringement to cause the film to be seen or heard in public and to communicate the film to the public. The principles relating to communication, commercial rental arrangements and what constitutes the public are the same as applies to Part 3 works with respect to the communication, public performance and commercial rental rights there. These principles are covered in the video Direct Infringement of Part 3 Works Other Than by Reproduction. For television and sound broadcasts, it is an infringement to make a film of a TV broadcast, to make a sound recording of a broadcast, or to rebroadcast or communicate a broadcast to the public. Again, to the public has the same meaning with respect to the communication right for Part 3 works. In Network 10 and Channel 9, the panel case, the full federal court held that a broadcast will be infringed by unauthorized rebroadcasting, but only if the entire program or a substantial part of the program is rebroadcast. Substantial part is considered in another video. Published editions of works are only infringed by the making of a facsimile copy, that is, an exact copy. This right may be infringed, for example, by making a photocopy of a published edition. In Nationwide News and Copyright Agency Limited, the court held that to infringe this right, a person must copy a substantial part of the published edition as a whole. This will be relevant where a person copies a single article from an entire newspaper, for example. It will then need to be considered whether the layout in the article copied was a substantial part of the published edition of the newspaper as a whole. Courts will also look to whether the aim of the copying was to utilize the typography, layout or presentation of the published edition or only to copy the underlying literary, dramatic, musical or artistic work.